it up. This is KF4TXQ, uh, and I'm going to listen, and I'll know where to send it the next time. Over, over. KN4, Mike Echo. Okay, Dr. John, good to hear you. I hope things are good in killing Alabama. This is KF4TXQ, KN4, Mike Echo. Over, over. Fine business, Sam. I, I hope the audio is okay. Uh, I'm not using the PR40. Uh, I'm using a, uh, it's a Turner microphone. Long story, but uh, my PR40 is locked up in my car and it's at the shop. <laughs> I can't get it out. It's in the truck. It's a long story. Anyway, I haven't been out in quite a while, but uh, I'll just get back in line, but I would like an audio report. It's it's acting okay uh, on the uh, on the meters. So let me turn the scope on here and we'll see what the waveform looks like. But I'm not going to figure it out because I just got on frequency. So I will just uh, uh, go to standby and listen. Uh, it's good to be back. It's been probably three or four weeks since I've been out. Stand for my echo listen. Pick it up, Stan. Well, it should be about time for Alan. So I was waiting. Alan, are you here? Yeah, QSR. I'm here. Welcome to check it off. Yep, that's what the clock says. Yeah, go ahead. All right. <laughs> this is N4OZI, Allen in Woodstock, Georgia, and this is the FAMRC Swap and Fellowship pre-net. This is net starting at the top of the hour. This is May 28th, year of our Lord, 2024, and we're ready to get things started. Who do I have on here so far? So, been on here for a while listening, so the list is as follows. Uh, WD4GWA, Dr. Ron, KF4TXQ, Sam, K4BKC, Bob, W4KR, Stan, KA4AMI, Eddie, W4AX, Mac, and KN4Mike, Echo, Dr. John. That's who we have already on the list. So we'll take a standby and see if we can pick up anybody else. Anybody else want to check into the SAMRC prenet? Call now. Copy those two. So we'll go ahead and start the top of the top with me, Dr. Ryan, WB4 GWA. How about your comments for the pre net? This is N4OZI. Okay, Alan, N4OZI from WB4 GWA. Well, good evening, Ray and uh, Dr. John. Good to hear you guys checking in. And Manuel, you're blasting in here. So uh, hopefully the band's going to be uh, picking up here in a little bit, and everybody will sound good. I hope so. And uh, Alan, uh, uh, look look on your tube inventory and tell me if you've got a 26Z5. 26Z5. It goes in. It's a, a rectifier tube that goes in uh, an R390A. And it uh, looks like I'm going to be needing one of them. So um, uh, if you've got a 26, uh, 26 Zulu 5, uh, you can let me know. I'm going to check out there in the barn again tomorrow and, uh, and see. I uh, thought I had, uh, had one. I found one this afternoon out there and uh, brought it back inside. And lo and behold, it was a 6AQ5. It was put in the wrong box. So that's always fun when you think you got a tube found and uh, somebody's put it in the wrong box. But who knows? Who knows? Uh, 
uh, I've got tubes from all over the place, and <laughs> and I don't even know where I got them all. So anyway, um, that's all we're doing here, uh, working on various projects and everything, and fixing to dive into this R390 and see if I can get it fixed for for my friend. So back over to you, Alan, in 40 zi I appreciate you calling the pre-net, as always, from WB4GWA in Concord. Okay, Dr. Ron, WB4GWA in 40 zi I'll check my inventory and see. Doesn't ring a bell off the top of my head, but uh, a lot of times these uh, tubes you guys are looking for are uh, they're actually in there hiding. <laughs> Z5. Uh, let me do a top on it too. I'll have to pull up some sheets and then I'm going to have to go and look and see what I can find. But I probably got one somewhere, but I'll just have to see. It's <laughs> great when you. Uh, Open a tube box. Uh, what's in there is not what it says is in there. Uh, anyway, I don't know where I'm going to Sam. Sounding good up this way. Uh, how about your comments for the pre net? KF4TXQ, uh, N4OZI. Okay, Alan, mighty good. You're sounding fine this afternoon. The band's not quite in yet. Waiting for the old man's son to go down. You know how it is. N4OZI. In the uh, W4 AMI prenet, this is KF4 TXQ returning. Well, I know we're just piddling around in here in the shack, and uh, we just got a, got a project going as always. But anyway, uh, looking forward to it. And uh, I'm hoping that the uh, band's going to settle down and we're going to have a have a good AM night. So anyway, you know how that goes. All right. Last time I sent it over to Dr. John, and uh, I'm not sure if that's exactly where it's supposed to go, but it ought to be time for Mac to get in here pretty soon. I'm not sure. But anyway, this is KF4TXQ. Uh, try you, Dr. John, again, and then, then you know, maybe maybe you can figure out who to send it to. Yeah, the, uh, KN4 Mike Echo in Killing, Alabama. And the pre-net, this is KF4. I should all be sending it back to N4 OZI. Because I think he, he, he likes to get it back and be the controller of the pre-net. So there you go. Old you there. Uh, Alan, good to hear you. N4 OZI in Woodstock. And the pre-net, KF4 TXQ. Right. Comes back over here. <laughs> KF4TXQ. N4OZI. Well, you got a good, strong signal, and uh, yeah, let us know how that little uh, Kenwood works out. I think you said it's a TS430S, and um, that'll be interesting. That'll be interesting. I've never had uh, a Kenwood HF rig. I've had Yesu and ICOM, but I've never, never had a, a Kenwood. Not that I. Run, but, but one never really crossed my path at the right time. So I've always been intrigued. I have used some at field days and stuff like that, and they're pretty slick. Uh, but uh, just never have had one. But who knows? Maybe maybe I'll spot one at uh, Huntsville. All right. I'm going to go up and pick up uh, Bob, and then after that we'll take a standby for check -in. So let's pick up Bob first. And then once we're done with that, we'll take a standby before we go to stand. K4 BKC, how about your comments for the pre net? This is N4 OZI. N4 OZI in the pre net, this is K4 BKC. Well, good evening, Alan, good evening to everyone on the pre net. Um, it's nice and warm up here, not a whole lot going on in Columbia. We're just uh, going for grand filling graduation and uh, Welcoming one home from from Morocco this week and uh, getting her settled back down in on U.S. soil. So um, enjoying the grandkids. That's about it from Columbia. But everything else is is going real well. Back to you, Alan. Thanks for doing the pre net. N four O Z I K four B K C. All right, Bob. 
K4, BK3 in the pre-net, send 4 O Z I. So I sound in good, and I said, was up your way, uh, when was it, uh, when we went to Dayton, uh, two weeks ago, and uh, went up and stayed in Franklin, and uh, I've done a lot of work in Franklin, so I knew the town really well, so I decided that would be a good halfway spot before I went up to, uh, before, before I I went up to uh, Bloomington. And um, so it was nice being up there and out being out and about. And uh, I'll see now. We'll take a standby to see if we have any other check-ins on the. Um, there we go. Let me uh, take a standby to see if we have any other check-ins for the pre-net. This is in for OZI. Any other check-ins for the pre-net? Come now. I'm not hearing any, I'm not seeing any, so that's fine. Let's go to you, uh, Dan, and then we'll pick up Eddie. Double five, KR. How about your comments for the premium? Just in for on. Okay, Alan. n 4 O Z I W W4KR. W4KR. Well, welcome, welcome home, uh, uh, Alan. Welcome home. Uh, when you're looking for that 25Z, whatever it is, or 26Z, uh, uh, whatever it is, um, check the uh, check the uh, 6B6, uh, the, the glass 6B6 uh, pile. I've got to change the, uh, i got to replace the 6V6s in the 183D. They're, uh, they're both microphonic. Time to, time to, time to get them out of there. Uh, I'm running the uh, regular uh, the regular uh, high power job tonight, and uh, peaking uh, peaking right around uh, 12, 15, 1300, somewhere in there. And uh, hard to tell because it uh, moves around quite a bit. 100, uh, 100 about 130 percent positive and uh, 90, 96 percent negative. So it's. Uh, Things should be perking along. I hadn't run this thing for a while, so it's uh, glad to glad to get it back uh, get it back going again. <clears throat> I got a I've got uh, the beginnings of a uh, rehab project here, and I think tomorrow morning huh, I got to go get the tires rotated in the in the vehicle tomorrow morning. But after that, it's back here and uh, fire up the uh, oscilloscope and identify the. Uh, Identify the positive and negative side of a bunch of uh, bunch of uh, axial compa capacitors to start stuffing into the uh, uh, CR88, uh, the Helicrafter CR88. With that, back it comes, Alan. And you carry on, and I'll uh, I'll just listen out from here on. And four O's at I W4KR. Okay, Stan. W4KR. In the net, in for those uh, pre-net, I should say. <laughs> and the final rehab project. Yeah, we've got to do the same. Uh, I've got two Collins gear, two pieces of Collins gear staring at me that need attention that I'm going to have to get to work on. And um, I've got everything I need. I uh, just need to get, get started on it. But uh, I figured this will be, when it gets hot, uh, I usually turn my attention indoors and <laughs> abandon the outdoor projects, and it's getting close to that time. Plus, it kind of motivated me a little bit when I was up at the uh, Dayton Invention. Uh, lots of good stuff. By the way, the photos are on my QRZ page. I did take some photos, and uh, somebody had posted some nice aerial shots, so I got them and put them on that photo album as well and gave them credit for it. Uh, but um, it was it was a lot of fun. It was awfully muddy though on Friday. Gosh, it was muddy. But uh, it sure was great to see people. Got to see a lot of people up there, and it was a lot of fun. All right, we'll go over to Eddie, and then we'll take another standby see if you have any other check-in, and uh, then we'll continue on. So over to you, Eddie. K A four A M R. N four A Z I. Okay, thank you, Alan. N4OZI, this is KA4AMI, and uh, uh, to Dr. Ron, I look, I don't have a 26 anything, Z or anything, so uh, I, I struck out here, so I, I 
kind of figured I didn't. I didn't think I had any point in shooting. Now I've got a box of unknown cheeses over here. And it's actually two boxes. Uh, but uh, I, I don't I don't think there'd be one in there. Uh, I've been through them. And uh, if, it, if it's in there, it's not identifiable. <clears throat> anyway, uh, excuse me, about the cop. Uh, got out in the... Uh, I don't know how there was any dust out there, but there was dust out in the uh, yard when I was mowing. So uh, instead of wearing a mask, I, I went uh, without it, and I'm paying the price now. But uh, we'll survive somehow or other here. But uh, it's still 84 degrees here, and uh, I'm starting to copy everybody pretty good. Um, the band is changing, and I hope we'll have a, a good evening tonight. Again, it's good to hear everybody. But let's try to get everybody in before the 7 o'clock. We've got another 15 minutes. And Alan, thanks for picking it up there. And it's good to hear you. You're sick. Well, Intro Asia now. This is 1204. Okay, Alan. 1084 in the pre-net. Close that eye. Well, Coming in pretty good, a little, a little bit of QSP, though, but that's normal. But uh, it'll get better as we get going. And um, let's see, Dr. Ron, I did check. I don't have a 2060 V5. Uh, you know, I'm thinking on my spreadsheet. It said no. <laughs> <laughs> it also said it was used for that Collins R390, so I'm like, yeah, I uh, should have some of those. But I went and did a check, and no, it's, they're not over there. Uh, Stan, I'll find your 6D6 glass tubes. I'm pretty sure I've got those in somewhere. I'll, uh, I'll get those taken care of. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. We're going to uh, take a standby before we go to Mac. Take a standby see if we have any other check-ins for the AMRC pre-net. Send for OZI. Any other check-ins for the pre-net? Uh, come now. Well, I'm just not pulling them in at this hour. It's going to be going to be kind of tough, but we'll get through it. All right, let's uh, turn it up to to the north of me here to uh, Max W4AX. How about your comments for the pre-net? This is N4OZI. All right, N4OZI W4AX. Thanks. Good evening, Alan, and uh, thanks so much for running the pre-net. And good evening, Dr. John. I think uh, and Manuel. Good evening to you and Ray. I, I think I've spoken to everyone now. And uh, Stan and Alan, I'm looking for a pair of three CX-800 tubes, three Charlie X-Ray 800 tubes, if you, uh, if you wouldn't mind announcing that uh, during the, the, the swap and sell uh, portion. And um, let's see, Bob, uh, real fine, I think you said it, it was your son uh, coming back from Morocco. I lived in Morocco a year, so I'm sure we could uh, share some stories. It's been a long time ago for me. and. And so I'm, I'm sure it's changed a lot. And uh, Dr. Ryan, congratulations on the SX-111 and getting it played. Sounds like you needed a whole other extra set of hands if that would have helped. And I'm glad it went to a uh, to a good home. And uh, let's see, um, I think it's an R390A uh, that you uh, that you have there. If it's a, a plain R390, there's a, a great solid state mod for the regulator tubes I can give you if you don't have that. And I do have 26Z52, uh, and so if you need me to send it to you, just holler out. Uh, Alan, is it okay if I make a break and just see if Dr. Ron needs me to send it to him? Yeah, go right ahead. Dr. Ron, you want me to send you that to you, break? Tell you what, let me do this. Uh, let me get into my barn tomorrow. It's too hot to get out there this afternoon again, so... Let me get in there tomorrow and dig around and see if I can find one. If I cannot find one, I'll text you and let you know. How about that? Thanks. Okay, real fine. Well, I've got them for sure. All right, uh, back up to that control, and thanks again, Alan. n 4 O Z I W W4X. Okay. Right. W4AX and the pre-net, n 4 O Z I. And uh, let me see. I'm looking at my spreadsheet long ago. I don't know how accurate it is, but it's indicating to me that the Collins R390 takes two of those. So, um, uh, is, do you need, Bob, do you need Graham or do you need two? 
No, I, I, I just need one. The other one is good. And, yeah, I do have that mod, by the way, Mac. Uh, uh, Stan gave me a wonderful book with the Y2K uh, schematics and all that kind of stuff. So I've got all the documentation. But, yeah, I just need one of them. All right. You want that. Well, um, we'll let you get a look at it and then uh, get in contact with Mac. And uh, my my spreadsheet just said no, and then I went and, and looked around in my trays and, and to see if it was in there, and it's not. So I'm like, well, <laughs> that's a bummer. It's one of those ones I wish I had. Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll also make an announcement on your 3CX800 and uh, on your pair that you need on that. It, and Mac, is that a, a CX800 or 8000? No, it's not an 8,000. It's an 800. It goes, there's a pair of them and an Alpha 89 amplifier over. All right. I had seen three CX 800, so I just wasn't sure. <laughs> if it put another zero on there, you'd have one big tube. Anyway, you need a pair of them. We'll make a note of that. All right. Let's, uh, let's see. Let's take a standby, see if we have any other check-ins before we pick up Dr. John. Any other check-ins for the SAMRC uh, pre-net? Uh, come now. No, just us. So that's it so far. So let's uh, let's go over to Doctor John see if the conditions are working and maybe he can pick me up. If it is a little bit of QSB, so KN4ME. Doctor John, I got your comments for the pre-net. This in for us at I. Uh, let's see, uh, um, Ron, maybe you can give a rerun on that. Uh, you may not be able to hear me. Yeah, okay. Uh, Dr. John, KN4ME, are you, uh, are you there from WB4GWA? Uh, Alan has called you. He must have, are you in NOFT? Okay. <laughs> Well, we'll keep them on the list for the regular net, and, and uh, maybe we'll try to get them a little bit uh, at the top of the hour here. This is coming up in 10 minutes. Let's uh, swing it over to Ray, my neighbor, my good neighbor, Ray. That'd be four OZ. Ray, how about your comments for the premium? The 10 4 OZ. 10 4 OZ. Hi, this is W4OB. I think that's the maximum that is legally allowed for drones or something like that. Mine, mine's not even going to get close to that. I think 
Um, 59 feet is its max, <laughs> so it's not even going to get close. But uh, we took those pictures apparently on Saturday up at Dayton, and uh, boy, they look really good. That really gives a good aerial shot of the entire facility there. And after being there, uh, you, you kind of learn to appreciate how big that, that place is. It's they've really found a, quite a place, and uh, like I said, it rained. Uh, while we were waiting in line to get in on Friday morning, so it was awfully muddy, but uh, the rain cleared out, and, uh, and um, uh, the, the cooler wind came in and kind of cooled the humidity down, and it, it was nice. It wasn't bad at all, just muddy. I uh, just had to get around the mud, but uh, like me, uh, I didn't travel all that way to let a little rain deter me, and that's the way everybody else felt, so there was quite a crowd there. Uh, which there is going to be a ham fest this uh, Saturday at Atlanta. Uh, rumor has it. I checked the, the website. It still says it's going to happen. The forecast for Saturday is not too good, at, but at least in the morning it looks like it's going to be dry. So maybe, maybe just maybe it might be a decent ham fest. All right, let's uh, see if we can pick up manual. And uh, Eddie, you might have to stand by. I might need your signal to uh, penetrate through the I-10 curtain. But let me see if Manuel can hear me. Uh, TW4TV, Manuel, how about your comments for the pre-net? Let's end for O's at I. TV in the pre-net, the same for those that I. Well, uh, we could use some rain up here. Uh, what was it? Uh, yesterday morning, we had about three quarters of an inch, so we were glad to get it. And that was a pretty intense rain. But um, it looks like uh, the whole time I was gone, I checked my rain gauge, and then we only got half an inch. So I was a little disappointed by that. I was hoping we'd get more while I was gone, but nope. We certainly drew, drove through rain, though, that's for sure. All right, we've reached the bottom of the lift. We've still have got a few minutes left in pre net so we'll take a standby for any other check-in. Any other check-ins for the SAMRC Swap and Fellowship pre net come down. Four, Mike, Alpha Charlie, Mac down here in Florida. Check-ins besides W4MAC. Any other check-ins? Yep, that's, that's all I got. Okay, let me see if I can get you in there, Matt. W4MAC, I believe that was you. How about your comments for the pre-net? This in for a who's that on? Here, 
Okay, let me see if we have any other check-ins. Any other check-ins for the FAMRC Swamp and Fellowship Pre-Net uh, come now. Now, Karen, you but no audio. Getting close to the top of the hour, I'm making a reminder. Bubble uh, uh, 4 Mac is looking for a pair of three CX 800 tanks. He's on the uh, market for that. And um, Ron is also looking for a transit. I think he has some. He's still looking at the in the barn and see. So he's not exactly sure, but uh, have just enough supplies if you have one handy. And um, I'm going to have to make a list of that when I go to these hands. That's just for that cheap. So that is one I forgot that uh, I should probably not have thought, but uh, I haven't been looking. But glad you mentioned it. All right. Uh, we're close enough to the top of the hour. I'm going to send it up your way, Stan. Go ahead and get it stopped. We don't have any other further check in. First, certainly appreciate everybody's help on the free net and the relays. And uh, we'll set it on up to stand and go ahead and get the net started a little early tonight. I'm not going to take it. This is N4 OZR. Yeah, all right, Alan. Thank you. N4 OZI, W4KR. Well, good evening, everybody, again. Uh, got uh, 10 folks on the list tonight. 11, actually, excuse me. 11 folks on the list. Forgot to, <coughs> didn't include myself here. So we've got a we've got a good start. That's about uh, half a normal crowd. So we'll see where we uh, where we can go tonight. Band conditions are uh, jumping around. <laughs> best I can report. Best I can I can say it. Eddie uh, Eddie, you were uh, you were uh, 20 25 over nine at first <laughs> first transmission. Second transmission, you were down about an S seven. But and uh, Ray, it was weird with you, with with your signal. There was some ultra rapid flutter early on and then mid transmission had stopped it and everything was fine so do we have a everybody put their seatbelt on and away we go here tonight this is the southeastern am radio club swap and fellowship met it meets every tuesday evening at this time seven o'clock eastern six o'clock central <clears throat> with the uh with the uh uh, Pre-net uh, beginning at uh, 6.30 Eastern Time, 5.30 Central. Next uh, Tuesday, it'll be uh, it'll be uh, Sam, KF4TXQ in the saddle, and uh, his normal uh, normal uh, pre-net uh, guy is uh, is Kevin from uh, from. Uh, <laughs> the golden, the golden city up there in western uh, Villarica, western, uh, western uh, Georgia. Anyway, uh, the net began more or less. Uh, we're getting real close to the 25-year mark, and uh, we are a group at this point of uh, of 300 members. 300 folks have have joined over the years, and. Uh, we we continue to grow. Uh, be be reminded. I think everybody that's here tonight probably is aware of our website. That's w4ami.org, and uh, that uh, Dr. Ron Johnson uh, uh, looks after and does a, has has done a great job with. So with that, uh, as Alan said, uh, this is a both a swap and fellowship net. In the, and, I, and I'll repeat what uh, what he said a couple minutes ago. Uh, Mac W4A uh, W4AX looking for a pair of three CX 800s. Boy, they're getting hard to find. Uh, uh, Mac, that uh, the sources for those things have uh, kind of kind of dried up. Ever since MRI machines went uh, went solid state, that was the that was the beginning of the end of, uh, of 800s. So before we uh, before we do we uh, start with the officers uh, for their uh, announcements for the week, we'll take standby. See if anybody else would like to join. Come on, uh, come right now if you would. This is W4AMI. Sure, WW4AMI. Hey, I'm Ray. 
Uh, Mike, Mike, would you give me your call again, please? Yeah, sure. It's just whiskey, whiskey for Alta Lima, Charlie. Okay, WW4ALC. Good evening to you. Anybody else? Okay, my uh, didn't hear, uh, didn't uh, didn't see anybody on the pan adapter. So let me begin with uh, let me begin with our president, Bob K4BKC. Your transmission, Bob, and how are you tonight? W4AMI, over. Well, W4AMI, uh, this is K4BKC. I'm just fine, Stan. Thank you for asking. Hope you're doing well, you and. Miss Joan there. Um, everything's going well here in Columbia. Hope everyone had a very meaningful Memorial Day as we reflected on uh, all our veterans that have made the ultimate sacrifice over the years for our freedom. Uh, we're very thankful for all of our veterans all the time. Uh, as Aaron said, the Atlanta Ham Fest coming up this Saturday, uh, hopefully. I'm not real sure about that, as Alan said, but it looks like it's still on at this time. The Huntsville Ham Fest is coming up August the 17th and 18th this year, so that's, that's over the horizon fairly soon here. We want to continue our thoughts and prayers for Manuel KW4TV and his daughter and all their family. Is they um, yeah, uh, continue their uh, treatment for her for her health problems. Also, we continue thoughts and prayers for Susan W4YL. Well, she recovers from her hip replacement surgery. Well, I hope Kevin, our other uh, pre-net control guy, is, I hope his voice is returning. Uh, WA4KM has been under the weather. Well, thank you, Alan, for the pre-net, and thanks for all those beautiful photographs and zoomers on the N4OZI website, our N4OZI QRZ page, pardon me. Uh, thank you for doing the pre-net, and thank you, Stan, for doing the net. And band hopefully will come around soon. W4AMI. Well, welcome, everyone, to the Evening Quantum Fellowship Net. W4AMI, A4BKC. Okay, Bob. Thank you. Uh, WKC, W4AMI. And uh, I'd like to add to the uh, add to the list of folks we should uh, pray for is anyone else, uh, anyone else, or any other family member that's undergoing treatment for. This disease or that disease. Wish them, uh, wish them well as well. Okay, uh, go on. Let's uh, let's go on. Oh, one one other thing I was going to mention, Bob. I was uh, just taking stock the last few days. It's been uh, the uh, <laughs> the three year mark when I started doing this. Uh, kind of went by a few weeks ago, and I didn't uh, didn't think to mention it at the time, but. Uh, Boy, that time has uh, flown by. Next is our is our uh, trustee and uh, webmaster and uh, restoration engineer supreme. WB4GWA. Good evening, Ron. W4K. W4AMI. Okay, Stan. W4AMI from WB4GWA. Well, good evening to you and to everybody on the on the net tonight. Uh, Bob, you uh, at one point your signal was uh, absolute dead, full quiet here. Uh, so the band is uh, is doing its thing up and down and all that. 
And I think I heard Roy in there as well. I don't know if you got him on the list or not, uh, Stan. And fine on the capacitors. I'm glad those came in. And, uh, yeah, you'll you'll enjoy uh, getting those all sorted out and start the process of the restoration on that AR-88. That'll, that'll be a lot of fun. And I'm anxious to see what you think about the meter when it comes in. Uh, those things are scarce, and maybe one of these days we'll find a good source for them. <laughs> But they are super scarce, and um, we uh, we're just gonna continue to rock on here, as Sam says, and uh, uh, work on these projects and stay inside and stay cool. I tell you what, I cut uh, 16 acres of grass uh, last week, and uh, I'm hopeful I'm not gonna have to do that again here anytime soon, because it's awful hot on that tractor and. Uh, <laughs> And I'll tell you what, uh, I don't care to do it all that often. But anyway, I, I got it done, and it looks pretty good. But we're uh, we're just uh, going to sit back and enjoy the net tonight, Stan, and appreciate you calling, and as always, always do a great job. W4AMI from WB4GWA Concord. Okay, thank you, Dr. Ryan. Appreciate, uh, appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, I'm uh, anxious to... Uh, uh, I, I, I think the meter will be here in another week, week and a half, and uh, we'll, we'll see what we'll see what John found. Anyway, he's uh, he, he's working at it, and uh, he knows he uh, he knows he needs another one, so he's uh, he'll continue. By the way, I, I referred to somebody named John a couple times. My youngest son, who's a ham that lives over in London, England, and is uh, scrounging scrounging for parts in the UK. Uh, next up is is KF4TXQ, our Vice President. Sam, how are you doing tonight? Are you behaving yourself, and uh, is Miss Mary keeping you uh, keeping you in line? KF4TXQ, this is W4AMI. Okay, W4AMI in Walhalla, South Carolina. This is KF4TXQ in Dayton, Alabama, and your signal's gradually coming up there, Stan. You know how it is. And uh, Alan was gradually coming up, too, so I was copying Alan pretty good. But you know how it goes this time of year and this time of day. You know, we just have to smile and go on. And I understand that the uh, solar flares and the storms and everything are having an impact on propagation. So, uh, you know, we just have to go with it and smile and be glad we got what we got left over. But anyway, that's the way it goes. But I hope Miss Jones doing well. I hope things are good in Wild Hollow. Things are good in Dayton. And we're just uh, rocking along, trying to behave ourselves and uh, trying to do all these exercises my physical trainer has got me doing. And I'm hoping that I'll, I'll get where I can motivate a little better. But anyway, but it's tough, I'll tell you right now. I have arthritis in my legs, and I have bad... Uh, constipation and, and uh, incontinence. So, you know, that, that makes life miserable. But I'm just going to smile and go on and do the best I can. And I uh, hope, hope everybody's doing all right where you are. I'm watching the sun go down. And uh, that old mean sun, he can, he can play with uh, uh, propagation by shooting those solar flares around. And he does it quite well and doesn't mind doing it. I think he enjoys it. He said, I'll teach those radio operators something about propagation. <laughs> but anyway, W4KR at uh, Walhalla, South Carolina. Back to W4AMI. This is KF4THQ. Good to hear everybody in here this evening. Doing a great job there. Okay, Sam. Thank you. Miss Jones says she feels fine. <laughs> she was kind of scowling at me when she first came down here. I don't know what that's about yet. We'll find out. Okay, glad to hear. Glad to have you. Glad to have you aboard uh, tonight, uh, Sam. Glad to have you aboard. Okay, next up is our uh, treasurer, KA4AMI. Eddie, your transmission, sir. Over. Okay, W4AMI, this is KA4AMI. Well, good afternoon and good evening, Stan, and uh, thank you and, and Alan for taking care of the ceremony tonight. 
And uh, by the way, happy third anniversary, Stan. Uh, you've done a great job here. You are a uh, credit to the club. So uh, there you go. Um, let's see. We have had lots of rain here. It's, uh, it's, I noticed today as I was mowing, uh, <laughs> I almost got behind there. So I had to slow it down a little. I thought I was going to have to go over it twice, but uh, I got away with one. Anyway, it, but it was hot, let me tell you what. I hate to whine about having to do a little over an acre uh, after Ron's talking about his 20-something acres. But, uh, hey, it, it's, the pain is there, I'll tell you. <laughs> anyway, we're doing fine here. Uh, let's see. Uh, as I'm the secretary of finances right now, all the bills are paid. So uh, that's a big smiley face on our on our book. So uh, we're, we're doing okay there. Uh, I'm probably going to need a little money down the road sometime. Uh, let's see. Our thoughts and prayers go out to all the people who are sick. I hope everybody is either well or doing well uh, at this time. And like I said, our thoughts and prayers go out to everyone. Yeah. Uh, we're on the Gates BC 1G tonight, listening on 75A4. And that's about it from here. Life is good in Williamson. Uh, uh, W4AMI, this is KA4AMI. Okay, uh, Eddie, uh, KA4AMI, W4AMI, yep. Eddie mentioned everything was fine financially. Glad to hear that. Got to remember, folks, that. Uh, that when uh, people, uh, or members, or uh, friends of the club have uh, difficulties or pass on, the, uh, it's the habit of the club to uh, recognize that with a donation of some sort. And that uh, those monies come from uh, member donations. The, uh, <laughs> as we know, the uh, the uh, five dollar five dollar. Uh, Application fee or membership fee doesn't uh, doesn't cover that. Barely barely covers getting the uh, getting the stuff out in the mail. So every once in a while, Eddie uh, Eddie might signal, hey, we uh, folks, we uh, if we've uh, we've got some bills to pay. Some help would be appreciated. And uh, I think what he is saying when that happens is it's uh, it's uh, time to get out the checkbook. Anyway, with that, let's see. Next up is uh, we'll take uh, we'll take one more transmission. And then we'll, and that's going to be our uh, our pre-net control guy, Alan. And then we'll take a standby to see if we have anybody else uh, ready to ready to come aboard. N4OZI, good job, my friend, as usual. W4AMI, go ahead, sir. Okay. W4AMI in the news. This is N4OZI. Well, we do appreciate you calling it as well. It's always good to have someone to turn it to. This thing was good. Nobody was. So we appreciate you being here. And, um, yep, like I said, the Atlanta hand test is, from what I can tell, still skating to go. And um, we'll see what the runner is. Uh, Waynesville, North Carolina, comes up to the 20th. That's a pretty good one. And, um, and then, of course, the big one is Huntsville, which will work with you at that. That's a, that's a great one. That's a great uh, venue. And they are at Huntsville. To have a uh, record attendance here, which is really good. It's nice to, to see a ham fest just driving uh, in Huntsville, and uh, we really enjoy going over there. And uh, I, find it, I never was in on August. I'm like a lot of folks. I don't like the hot heat, but uh, at least there's, there's, a, there's something to look forward to in August. So. <laughs> That's great. Other than it being over with. Anyway, uh, yep, uh, great to uh, be here. we got two, 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 two to, to look at. Of course, that's not AM gear, but uh, we need to look at them. One's an early winged edition, very early winged edition, and the other one is a round emblem, late 1972 KWM2. So we'll, uh, and power supplies and station consoles and that stuff with both of them. So we got we got a lot of work to do on both of them. Uh, the wing one is uh, not putting out. Uh, I need to check the finals, and I need to check the drive tube and see why that is happening. And um, I haven't even fired up the round emblem one. It's just it's still sitting there. Uh, I have no idea if it works. I think it does, but 
have no clue, but uh, we'll start looking in on that and, and checking it out. That's all we got. Uh, appreciate everybody. Uh, I had a lot of good comments, uh, especially from guys in the UK. I enjoyed the pictures of the, the Dayton Ham Bench. And, uh, I talked to some of them, and they were they were kind of thrilled about it. So I was not a fan. I got to meet a friend of mine in, from the UK there at Dayton, and his picture's on there. So uh, he's uh, he's big into working on repeaters over there, and he's uh, always looking for cavities, and he's... Uh, he was there at Dayton, and so I got a chance to catch up with him and meet with him over at the uh, Radio Society of Great Britain, and um, it was uh, near the in Building Two, I think, and uh, so I ran into him. So that was a lot of fun. Always a lot of people, uh, international people there. I remember as we were walking back to the parking lot, there were a couple of Germans uh, behind us talking, and uh, it was kind of interesting. So it's a uh, it's a real international event up there. It's a lot of fun. So back to you there, Stan. Appreciate you calling it. We'll keep uh, we'll keep a lookout for those tubes. I'll I'll probably got those six B six glass tubes. I'll I'll get them out to you this week, and uh, they'll be on their way. So up to you there, Stan. W four eight nine. This is N four O Z I. Okay, Alan. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Always uh, always happy to hear when you're. Uh, when you're here for the pre-night, Alan, you do a great job. Appreciate it. We all really do. Okay, this is the Southeast AM Radio Club Swap and Fellowship Net. Let's take standby for late comers. Come on in right now. W4AMI going to listen for new folks. Mr. Dan? Okay, we got... Uh, for HUM, and who was who came in uh, uh, right after uh, right after uh, Lenny and before uh, before Virgil OLJ? Who was that? Uh, I I I was that you, Greg? <laughs> okay, got it. Anybody else? Uh, uh, Pensacola, you here tonight? Okay, don't hear him. We got W4OLJ. Anybody else? Okay, we'll move on. Mac, W4AX, your transmission, sir. Good luck finding the uh, three CX 800s. That's going to be a stretch. Yeah, thanks, Stan. Uh, W4 uh, W4AMI, W4AX, and uh, thanks for running the net. And uh, Eddie, you're the channel master here tonight, so doing a great job with the gates. And, um, Dr. Ron, I, I know you've worked on a lot of 390s. I, I probably work more on that receiver than any other piece of ham radio equipment. I've probably restored 25 of them. And I uh, solid-stated uh, an R390A with FETs so that it's completely solid-state, plus have a couple of parts rigs if you need any parts. And forgive me if you already know this, but there's a uh, coupling capacitor just in front of the mechanical filters that must be replaced. Um, if it fails, then they're prone to do that. It will take out uh, whatever mechanical filter is selected at that time. And if you switch to another mechanical filter, it'll do that. So anyway, you probably know that, so forgive me if I'm being redundant. I'm, I know you're a master technician. W4AMI, W4AX. Okay, yep, the black the black beauties are killing us, no question. Okay, thank you, Mac. Good evening to you. Next up is K uh, Dr. John, KF4ME, your transmission, sir, over. Okay, Dr. John didn't, uh, didn't come back for his second uh, transmission on the pre-net, so I thought he was probably uh, off somewhere right now. W4OB, go ahead. W4OB. Well, a very good evening to you, Stan. And again, thanks for doing a great job as net control this evening. And uh, a very good evening to all of you. I've, I'm actually uh, able to copy everyone on uh, the Mohawk receiver. So it's uh, and, and of course the signals have been either uh, uh, really strong or, or or not as strong, but uh, that's. That's to be expected. And let's see here. Uh, uh, Eddie, Eddie Brown, you're sounding really good on that gate. BC 
G1G, I believe it is, Eddie, so you're sounding good. And Sam, you know, you made the comment of about uh, uh, doing the best you can, and I think if we all tried to do that, that would be really great, because that's, that's, uh, that's what we uh, should all try to do. So good going, Sam, and you're sounding good. I, I guess you're on your 7300 with Little Hoss. And, uh, but you, you've got a good signal from beautiful Lake Martin this evening, Sam, so very, very good. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, Manuel, I think you're on, uh, you're on the list for sure. And again, we're, our thoughts and prayers are with your daughter. I believe her name is Amanda, and, and that her treatments will, be, uh, will go very well and be successful. So uh, well, let me send it back to you, uh, uh, Stan, and again, uh, thanks again. So uh, 73 to all, W4AMI, this is W4OB. Okay, Ray, thank you. W4OB, W4AMI. They're coming up. Signals are coming up. We're finally starting to get there. Just in time because Manuel down Florida way is next. KW4TV, go ahead, sir. W4AMI. Yeah, W4AMI. Thanks, Dan. I talked to you in the chat. I was but you 100%. That's good, and. Thank you. Thanks for thanks for coming in tonight, Mac. Appreciate your appreciate your coming through because you're you're always you're always always readable up here. Thank you. Okay, next station is WW4ALC, and I'm afraid I uh, you may be a new check-in. I don't uh, I don't recall your uh, name or location, so uh, 
Tell us a bit about yourself. WW4ALC, this is W4AMI. WW4ALC. Okay, no go. We'll put him on the call later list. Lenny, K4HUM, your transmission. Bouncing around from this uh, frequency to another. Okay, Greg, uh, WA4III, you go, go ahead. Uh, W4AMI, this is WA4III. I'm going to pick you up. I've had a terrible time getting on here. Uh, uh, turn my camera rig on and my receiver. Uh, didn't have any sensitivity. And, uh, so I had to change up the receiver. And, uh, uh, get everything I looked up, and I'm going to get it made. I guess my old Christian in 4A will have to go back uh, up to the shop and, uh, uh, and get work done. Uh, it's been a nice day today, and I uh, uh, had, had a good weekend. I did uh, uh, the whole uh, get together with the family, and uh, everything uh, uh, seems to be going fine. I know it's a terrible year, so uh, it's not going to I'm just going to go ahead and, uh, and uh, uh, secure the station. Because uh, this snow is going to be here. Uh, W4AMI, this is WA4AI. Okay, Greg. Yep, I can understand. It's uh, getting that way. It's getting that way up here also. This is W4AMI. And Greg, sorry to hear that the... Uh, the <laughs> Uh, Drake receiver has to go to the hospital. Bah humbug, always something. That's uh, that's where I am with my 183D. It's about the time I get it fixed, something else pops up in it. Just it's, uh, just getting at that age, I guess. Okay, next station up, and at the, uh, we're at the end of the list at that point. So after this next transmission, we'll be taking a standby. W4OLJ, I, I got my earmuffs on. Uh, Virgil, go ahead. W4AMI and the net. This is W4OLJ. Okay, Stan. Thanks a lot there for picking me up. Well, I know what you're talking about about the uh, the 183D. I've I've got one over here and that I use with my Ranger when uh, when we have the the low power month there. And uh, I really love that thing. It's a good old receiver. Sounds good and and everything. So uh, I know we're anxious to uh, get them and going again. It's been a beautiful day here in Sweetwater today, and, and yesterday was pretty nice. But uh, anyway, we uh, we're ready for some nice weather. We have been falling off with rain. I mean, it's we have uh, we've had a lot of rain here lately, but uh, it's uh, pretty out there now. Not much, uh, not much else to report here. The Knoxville uh, Ham Fest is coming up on uh, June the 15th. Stan, that's not too far away for you. Hope, hopefully, you can uh, make that one up there and I'll run into you. It's uh, not a not a huge ham fest, but uh, pretty good. It's it's worth going to. So that's about it, Stan. You're doing a great job, and uh, uh, we always enjoy the net. So back to you there. W4OLJ. This is W4OLJ in Sweetwater. Okay, Virgil, got a question for you. Where is the uh, where is the Knoxville one held? Uh, go ahead. Well, uh, actually, I don't know, Stan. They've changed locations, and it's it's. Uh, I don't know. I really don't know. They had it there at the uh, Corbella Shrine Temple for years, but uh, I think they've moved it. But it's somewhere near near downtown Knoxville. There, I think I'll I'll find out and uh, and uh, let y'all know there. Uh, maybe by next week, Stan. Go ahead. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Virgil. Yeah. Yeah. It's not too bad. It's about. Uh, 
Uh, well, it takes two hours and 45 minutes to get to uh, to get to Sevierville, so it's just another 20 minutes after that. So we could do that, and we always uh, we always come up through the park, uh, come right up uh, US 441 all the way uh, on to Sevierville, and then uh, then jump on to I 40. But but the, uh, we always enjoy coming through the park, and the last couple of times coming through the park, boy, there wasn't much, any traffic. Of course, we did it on a uh, we did it on a Sunday morning, and uh, uh, came back on a Monday morning, and both both times were uh, were uh, were not bad at all. In fact, going going up, we we hardly hardly saw another car in our direction heading heading up to the top and over to the north side, but. But uh, we do enjoy going through the park, so it's, uh, it's well uh, well worth it. Anyway, thank you, sir. This is the Southeast AM Radio Club Swap and Fellowship Net. Do we have any late arrivers? Okay, hey, recheck. Is that uh, K4HUM by any chance? <laughs> well, I tell you what. Let me stop the event right now, and you make your transmission before you get away again, Lenny. Hey, go ahead. How you doing? Okay, Lenny, we'll have a good time this week. Later, uh, later on tonight, you get back over across the road. Thanks for uh, thanks for thanks for checking in tonight. Uh, okay, anybody else? Okay, let me go back to we had two uh, uh, made two calls earlier that uh, folks had uh, had to go, uh, gotten away for a little bit. Doctor John KM4 Mike Echo, are you here? Dr. John he either went to dinner or went to work, so he is out for the evening. And the other station was uh, WW4ALC. ALC, go ahead. Okay, no copy there. So we will take him off the list for tonight. Okay, that puts uh, the number at 15, and uh, we will prepare to shut it down. But just before I do, one last call. Uh, before we shut the net down, W4AMI listening. Okay, didn't hear anybody. So with that, good night. Thanks, folks, and we'll see, uh, come come Thursday night. The mullets will be here, and uh, next Monday the Eagles will be here, and next Tuesday we will be here. Except uh, Sam will be here. We'll talk on that night, Sam and Kevin. Anyway, with that, good night, and uh, thanks. I thank everybody for, for thank you everybody for joining us, and we'll see Lord willing, we'll see everybody next week. This is W4AMI. Good night. <laughs>